Okay, we are back, and you join us for part two of the scenario, the Moon Valley. Here we have to defeat four orcish leaders. We've already defeated two of them, and you can see how well that's gone. In the south, our forces defeated the orcish leaders, but we're left with a substantial residue of troops, um, orcs from the black team, to mop up, uh, and that's not going to be all that easy, or at least we're not going to complete it straight away. Once they're done, their next mission is to head over here and try and take out this orcish Slurbo, who is the purple leader. In the north, uh, the attack went extremely well in the first instance. Uh, we took down quite a lot of orcs. Uh, our only problem up here is that uh, after quickly defeating the blue leader and wiping out all the blue troops, it's now the case that we're in a bit of trouble. Because there's a lot of purple and green units up here, and we only have units here that I would um, really like to keep alive. So we're going to see what happens. Um, but the first thing to note, and the, something that's quite useful at this point, is, um, hey, check it out, we've got 54 gold, because that's what happens when you defeat leaders on this campaign. Uh, gold comes in. So, we are going to start in the south, I think, because the stakes are less high there. First of all, Malkeshar needs to move to the main body of the enemy units, because he needs to be in the thick of it. And he's going to take out, try and take out, fail this take out this this archer yeah fantastic okay um these orcs these skeletons here in the background should be able to mop them up gradually who ought to get the experience probably this one who's on full health Okay, the Rouser is almost dead. And now. Ah! Oh, amazing. Alright. The Rouser is still alive, believe it or not. And there are still quite a lot of walks down here. Um, you just go into the trees. You're tougher in the trees. And you... Shoot the assassin. Oh, no luck there. Alright. Um, now the biggest threat by far to these wraiths... Is the archers, so I'm going to try and kill the remaining archer over here. And still, it might be the case that my wraith with the most experience dies. Yeah, it's not looking good. 14 health, and uh, there's a nasty attack with... Uh, with marksmen on this assassin up here. Alright, southern flank is done. Northern flank, here things get a little bit trickier. Now, further to the north, things are looking less problematic. Um, first of all, Anlinde is going to try and, is going to drop down here and zap this warrior. <laughs> All right, he's dead. That's good. That means that Galas can march up here. And given that Galas is here now, it seems like it's a good time to bring out the big guns. Whoever, well, whoever gets recruited here is probably going to die in fairly short order. So this shouldn't be the big gun. Um, it should be someone who is good in defense, quite tough, 
and can happily stand on a castle. So, uh, my elves are getting more and more expensive. Okay, just thinking about the money here. Yep, it's going to be an elvish fighter. And then, if you stay there, and you come down here, oh come on, ah, well, trying to get rid of these uh, irritating archers, because archers are generally a nightmare, um, what I want you to do is come down here. And because it's the daytime, I'm not going to worry too much about the damage that you take, especially since you're not the one I want to keep alive, particularly. And you don't take any damage anyway, but you also don't deal very much damage, so that's not great. Um, it's very tempting now to try and take out this Slayer, but the trouble with that is I'm going to get poisoned. So I'm going to instead try this Orbish Grunt. Oh dear, the maths is not on my side today. Hmm, okay. Now, you move up, move up there. Um, here is where I'm going to recall someone who is tough as nails. Milan the Lich. That's going to hurt my gold income, but uh, oh hum. Can't recruit, can't recall anyone else, but I can recruit someone else. And the question is, who or what? And I think the answer is probably an Elvish Hunter, because I think the slow ability will be good in defence here. Okay, now Galas, what I want you to do is try and succeed where uh, my good friend, the uh, Death Knight, failed miserably, and uh, try and take out this... And you failed miserably as well. Okay, Erewhal, the Orcish Archer, is officially the luckiest Orcish Archer in the history of Orcish Archers. Um, so then what I'm going to do is come around here with Sathinia the Shide, try and finish off this Wolf Rider. <coughs> oh, it sounds so sad when they die. Um, and then I'm going to come across here and Volrand is going to try and finish the job. Oh, for goodness sake! All right. So three very powerful units, three level three units and one level two unit have attacked this Orcish Archer, who I think was already injured. <laughs> and nothing, nothing at all. Well, um, you won't get off that easily next time. However, that probably means that Volran will die because Volran is going to get shot full of arrows, even though he's in the forest. All right. And purple is going to do the same. Oh, stop it! So now it's the black player's turn. What can the black player do? Yeah, see, there's that attack that I mentioned. Jammy so-and-so. Well, at least it's not dead. Now let's see if I can finish the job. And it's coming up to night time, um, which is good for my undead, but it's pretty bad for my elves. So the troops that are at the top of the map are going to struggle, except the one that I just summoned. Okay, I kind of feel like this wraith is so valuable now that it really ought to run away and survive. 
Um, so I'm just going to leave Malkeshar here in the thick of it and have you run away to this house. And uh, yeah, look, this, this Rouse has run away too. Um, it's not clear what it hopes to achieve by doing so. Um, survival, I guess, would be the main aim, but um, I'm going to try and prevent that. So first of all, Malkashar, you... Uh, wolf Rider. I think I'm going to need to take out this Wolf Rider, otherwise it might level up and I can't have that. <laughs> Alright. You can't do anything useful and you're on, you're on one health, so hopefully you'll suicide. Um, you're the only one who can reach that rouser in the middle of nowhere. And no one can reach you, so you just run up there and try and take him out. Ah! ah! Yep, down he goes. And you, I think, are best used over here, taking out this rouser. Or not taking out that really, I can't find can't, can't even nearly take out this rouser, so instead I'm going to slow it, because I don't actually think I'm going to quite... Can this wraith kill it? No, I don't trust it. Don't, don't trust it. This... Ah, you can get in there. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, this isn't going well. All right. You, my druidic friends, go for the slow. Go for the slow. Direct damage. Not much, but uh, maybe it's enough. Um, now, probably, if I if I do it like this, um, my druid is going to get poisoned this turn, um, which would be immensely irritating. But, uh... oh, there are worse things. So, and there are two more troops here that I want to take care of, and I think these guys can then go out back and try and mop up. Um, first of all, I think both of these situations are best resolved by the kind of skeletons that just attack you with axes. You can actually reach that orc over there, that's cool. Let's see then, let's see if you can kill this guy. Not even close. Alright, you can if you get one hit. One hit. One hit is all it takes. And there it is. Alright, so the threat posed by the black player is almost ended. The purple and green player is still attacking me quite fiercely up on this northern flank. I'm going to need to be extremely careful as to how I deal with this situation. Um, first off, we've got a lich here. Um, We've not got any gold left, but the lich is uh, is certainly useful to have around. Um, you, I'm just gonna slow. Because you're not my main concern. Now hopefully, Volaran, you can do better this time. That's better. That's certainly better. Um, hmm. Death Knights. You can give Volrand experience if you just hop over there. So you do that. Okay. So far, so good. you just sat the archer? Yeah, I guess. And then you, I hope, can finish the job without taking too much damage. Nope, no you can't. Alright, well, well damn. Okay, well in that case my elvish hunter is going to try and do that. Um, you run up here and take out the green rider. 
And now you stay, I guess, where you are. Um, and while it's still light, you just do as much damage as you can. Which isn't a great deal. Right, Galas. Kill the Orcish Slayer. Or should you mm, no. Maybe killing the killing the crossbowman or trying to. Um, yeah, I think that's actually a better bet. Um, again, not a fantastic turn for damage, but um, it could have been worse. And um, hopefully I'm not going to lose too many valuable units at this point. Okay, green is largely on the retreat now. Going hell for leather to try and kill my very wounded but very high experience person. Okay. It's the middle of the night. Um, my hunter is inexplicably still alive. This elvish ranger is inexplicably still alive, and it might even, if I'm very lucky, be possible to keep it that way. Um, I've got a kind of cleanup operation, but there are more troops on the way, so I do need to be careful with, um, with, with my strategy. So once again, I'm going to start in the south, where things are a little bit safer. Um, these skeletons are going to try and reclaim some of the income damage that I've just suffered. First of all, Malkashar, you run up here. Get rid of the assassin. Now, this is a job for my druid. And these skeletons, um, it's kind of, you know, a bit of a waste to have them running around pointlessly after units that are stealing my income, but uh, especially since these units are just as fast as my skeletons, so they all, they probably will be able to... These, these skeletons will be able to run away indefinitely. What I'm going to do is, I think, I am going to send those wraiths after them, um, but in the meantime these guys are going to go up and try and distract And these ones over here, right, you're, you're okay, so you come out here and you will help me take out these orcs at the back, who are busily sucking up my income. Um, first things first is to get rid of this slayer, I think, because this slayer is ex in an extremely irritating, strong position. Um, and it's blocking my ranger from being able to... It's not the only thing that's blocking my ranger from being able to... The, the main thing that's blocking my ranger is, in fact, this crossbowman. And now... Alright, okay, now you can escape. And, and should, it should be the case now that if you go up there, that no one can reach you, as long as someone else maybe steps back into your... Well, that doesn't change the movements all that much. Um, good. And Linda, you could potentially go into the forest now. That might be your best bet, and then try and take out someone. Um, first of all, you... Do that. Okay, right. Um, the irritating level 2 assassin unit is gone. Um, all the units over here are in the process of, I think, getting mopped up. And Linda, your best bet then is to take out one of these two. Who who do I actually who am I more worried about? Well, in he you are it's easier for you to run away, so I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, both of them, so. Such is the way of the world. Um up here. Hmm. 
Now all these purple units are too slow to reach any of the troops up there. If I if I could distract them away with some with some skeletons down here, or all, I almost could anyway. Um, at least one of these skeletons should. So you go up there. Um, I want you because I want you to help me get the kill on this crossbowman, this this purple leader. And you two are going to go and help join the fight up here, because I think it's going to get ugly. It's already ugly, um, but it's going to get even uglier. Gallus, I mean, you could just die, that's the problem. If you stand there, you could just die, so... I don't really know what to do. Um, Volorand, you stay where you are. Ah, oh, it's such a shame that you can't... Oh, I'm just gonna do it like this. Now oh, that was always the danger of that plan. Alright, Death Knight. Again, everyone's just got one too much health for me to insta-kill them. more health than I was hoping that that guy would lose. Um, wait, did I say that the right way around? Yeah, um, that was, yeah, that was more health than I was hoping that the Death Knight would lose, definitely. So now, Galas, I think, um, is best served by you just kill that orc. And then you just step back, just a smidgen. That does mean that someone will be able to get up onto this this level, but you know that's that sometimes the sort of hit you have to take. I'm gonna keep this elvish hunter alive for now. Maybe use him for slowing purposes in a bit. Um, irritating that there are troops going around mopping up my villages, that's what I'm really frustrated by right now. And I can't do a whole lot about it. You need to stay where you are and heal up some more. And then, then we can get going. Alright. Green player, what are you going to do? Yeah, I did see that one coming. Ah, oh, no! Oh, come on! Oh, no. Alright. Now, I'm going to get a reputation here for losing powerful level 3 units. Because I think I'm going to win this fight, but... That was a, that was not a sacrifice. That, that was not a hit that I, I should have taken. Um, and I'm pretty cheesed. I've had some, had some bad luck in this fight, but also... I probably should have known that that was coming, especially since there was a crosswoman out there. Okay, in the south, no one is quite ready to reach this um, this Slurbo. And um, more annoyingly, no one can quite get to this village. So I'm going to send Malkashar up here. And in case this Slurbo does want to actually to come out and fight, um, I'm going to do that. And then you come around to the back, and that squad should be able to deal with the slow slowbo, no problem. I mean, Kashar can probably deal with it on his own, but um, don't want to take the risk. Because there's actually quite a lot of units up here now. Um, you go to the to the village. You two can come out and fight. There's an archer there. you now can also come out because you're in enough health that I don't think you're going to get insta-killed by anything. And it's the situation in the north once again that's the one I'm going to have to try and clean up a bit. There's just too many archers there. But actually, now that now that most of my, now that all my undead apart from this lich that I've just recalled are dead, um, 
yeah, it's, it's not looking quite as challenging. Um, got to not rest on my laurels here. Um, particularly what I've got to do um, is get rid of this, this Orcish Warrior. And also not let Gallus die, because Gallus is, is looking once again pretty badly wounded. Alright, so, Lich. Um, if you go down there, are you just going to get killed? Yeah. Yeah, you stay up there. Okay, that, that wasn't terrible. Um, and Lindsay can come round and I think finish the job. I really want to kill this guy because he's got so much experience. But this guy is, is the more important one to, to be able to deal with at the moment. Okay, now, around here, that's annoying, see this is so tricky, um, this elvish ranger will almost certainly get killed if I put him there, and I really would rather that didn't happen so many units here. Fortunately none of them have leadership and some weak goblins here, but it is night time. Um, the tougher elven, the more experienced elvish ranger is still there. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to take this one. Alright, the uh, bad luck persists. Um, and now it only takes a level 1 kill. For this unit to level up. So what I now need to do... Can they reach up there? No, they can't quite. Okay. Well, that's good. That means that I can do... What I do up here, I can do without too much worry. Um, it does bother me that... There is a... That this crossbow does so much damage. Okay, now you go around. Please, please, just hit twice. Please. Nope. Nope. You step forward. And that, I think, is the end of my turn. Right, well, I'd rather have you de I'd definitely rather have you do that than um, than attacking than, than capturing my villagers. And there you are. Oh, oh I should have I should have should have been smarter with Gala. Well, even if this guy goes down, he's still done a great service in the back of my lines here. Alright, first task, get rid of this Slurbo. And Malka Shah can actually do this from standing on a house. Um, if the Slurbo hits, these are big hits. Um, won't lie, just hoping you won't. And there aren't many units around here, so Keshar could probably heal it up anyway. Ouch! I'm vanquished! And I retrieve 45 pieces of gold, which once again just brings me back into the positive, but doesn't allow me to do anything useful. Um, then finally, there is a little goblin over here. So that now means that the south has been cleared up, and hopefully now Malkeshar and his team can actually push forward and defeat the Orkish Sovereign, and then all I need to do on is, is hold over here. Um, at least that's the dream. Um, and it's not looking like an impossible dream right now. Um, in fact, I might not even need these wraiths to mop up the rest of this squad. Um, 
let's see what happens, okay? Because I'm still... My, my primary responsibility is still to sort out this corner of the map. And these guys are still active, there are still enemies around. Um, so you... Now I'm going to still need the rates for this. First of all, you do this guy. Alright, now you hit him, and hopefully don't die. Yeah, well, hopefully also kill him. Um, you come and attack this wolf rider. Perfect. Brilliant. Now you... Oh, all right, you're a tough one. All right, so my two sort of moderately experienced skeletons over here, um, and if I'm bringing the wraith around to help out, then the wraith is going to get archered, and I do not want that. So this wraith, the one with um, medium amounts of experience, is going to go and grab a village. All right, and now it's the north that is the issue. So first of all, Volran, try and do what you failed to do last turn. There we go, and now you are level 3. Um, I have real trouble keeping these, these elvish ranged units, these elvish uh, mounted units alive. They are just glass cannons, um, and that's not going to change. So, so yeah, um, I'll just need to, to see what can be done, I guess. Um, I think first things first is for... And Linde to try and take out this very, very experienced Orcish grunt. He won't quite level if he failed to do so. No, there we go. Um, Alright, now the Lich. Can you run over there? Yeah, you can run over there and grab that house without any danger. Um, the Lich should take out, because you've got a magical attack with an attack bonus, you should try and take out this archer on the hill. And you do not succeed, but that's okay. I can ask this ranger to help out. Um, or can I? What about this ranger? No, neither of you are useful enough to do that, so you just kill this goblin. And then... This one's too slow. I really just do need to... All I need to do um, is kill this archer, basically. And I'm going to do it with Galas, because although he's wounded, it just takes one hit, and I don't really want... I don't really feel like messing around. No, Galas is now very badly wounded, um, but unlike the previous scenario, there aren't lots of invisible enemies waiting to attack you around here. Um, and I just need to now clean up these enemies who are in the middle, uh, get all of these villages back under my control, and then the financial situation won't be too terrible either. Can you... You could go over there, but you'll get attacked if you do. So you stay where you are, and maybe next turn that's the play for you. Anyone else move? No. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Okay, it's time to start pushing again with these guys. Um, first things first, and Lindy, you know what to do. Lich, you know what to do. Alright, now you can go over here. Mm. 
We need someone who can take out this goblin spearman. Someone like you. It ain't dead. But it will be soon. You've got nowhere to run. So then over here... Very nice. Time now for the ray. Just three hits, it's very unlikely, but... Oh yes! <laughs> 99 experience! <clears throat> you go onto the house. You run along behind. Um, well, let's see, actually, if Bolrand can do anything useful. And by anything useful, I mean... Can you take out this spearman? Yes, you can. And that means, in turn, that you can just run. Stand next to the healer. Alright, I'm starting once again to get control of the finances. Um, and it's actually starting to be less of a problem that my finances are low because I don't need to recruit because there aren't many units around here. Um, Shane Malkashar can't quite reach this guy yet. Um, the real question is, should I suicide this skeleton onto him? And since it's night time, um, the answer I think is probably yes. Um, can't see the harm in it. Um, might even save me some income. Oh, 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 what? Those towers seem vacant. But there is something about them I mistrust. Be careful. It may be a trap of the orcs. Okay, um, you've taken some big hits, and now the archer can come in and almost not quite finish the job, but also not far off. Malkishar, you just come here, and then maybe you, you'll get attacked. That would be nice. Um, you stay where you are, you'll get a couple of healing points. Um, you just nip forward the one. And then I think... You... yeah, you, you get some more health. You do that. And, and there we are. Um, maybe, actually, maybe your best bet is to come back and start recapturing villages over this side. Yeah. You do that, because I don't want to use my good units for that. Be a waste. Still need to discover what's down here. Usually, in a Wesnoth campaign, if it's a mine, there's a grumpy dwarf there who you can recruit. Uh, somehow I doubt that will be the case here. Don't know why I doubt that. warrior appears to be frozen in place with fear and now um yeah the tables have really turned quite a lot um i think i don't really want to send on linda this way but if i do or the or the or the lich um it would be it would be an investment towards making sure that my future is financially rosy so i will So now, everyone else move forward, um, no, no, not yet. You grab that house, because that house has not been grabbed. 
you should go up into the mountains and see what all of the fuss is about there. And I think the same is true for you. These guys can uh, finish off the job as far as reclaiming houses is concerned. No, it was the wrong choice for you, wasn't it? Because by the time you even reach the area, that job will be done. So you just run back to your house and you can come back. You can move up to support the rest of my units. And the steamroller keeps on steamrolling. Got to watch out for these towers. I suspect when I move past them, there are going to be issues. So, our best warriors were unable to repel you, little elves. No matter, my bodyguards will send you to hell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah, the boy was right. It was a trap. And look, the orcs are calling upon reinforcements. So now, now it's quite annoying to me that Mokishar is right next to this house, rather than in this house, and um, the orcs are going to be able to trap him out here, aren't they? That's frustrating. Alright, hmm. See, the trouble is with these, um, this is what they call a banana surprise in campaign design. I mentioned this before. Um, basically when you move to a certain tile, a ton of new units appear and the enemy gets a load of gold. Um, I didn't know that was going to happen, there was no reasonable way of me knowing that was going to happen. Um, four, uh, three, four of the enemy units now have the ability to surround Melkishar, and that is just, just bad, basically. Um, I'm just, yeah, um, he probably won't survive that level of damage even if I come in and support him with these two, and if I do, they will die. So I'm not really sure what to do. Um, wait till daytime when they're a bit weaker, um, and you just these guys are just going to stay where they are. Um, and I think everyone else, the cavalry, here's the cavalry, the cavalry is going to have to come to the rescue. So Vorans, fly, fly! as fast as you can. And you, Galas, you go. You go as fast as you can. We're not over there though. That's not actually the best spot for you to be in. Um, just run out into the middle. You run out behind. You go and hide, and then you, I'll need you in support as well. Do I have any other units up here who can do anything useful? No, not really. Um, it's going to be a bit of a scrabble now if Malkashar survives at all. There's those reinforcements. Okay, well, if they're more interested in killing my level 1 skeleton archer rather than the unit that will cause me to lose the campaign, then um, actually, you know, that's okay with me. But they are going to trap Melkashar in, and that's the frustrating part, because now... Now he cannot escape this situation. At least not easily. I can only get him to escape if I bring other units in. Um... Other other units who can then who can, who will then die, like I said. So okay, just tr try and kill this warrior. Uh, you only need to miss once to make that impossible. Um, could could now I could bring Volrand out, um, but then I think Volrand would be killed, and I don't really want that to happen. Um, this is a very, very tricky situation. These units can all reach, or they're very close to being able to reach. Um, what I need to do is reinforce Malkeshar. You just run out. Maybe you can distract this, uh, this assassin. So 
it would be absolutely beautiful if I could kill this warrior and then get someone tough onto those farms. The trouble is I don't have anyone tough. And so many people can now reach this farm. If I put my sorceress there, then she's going to die. And if I put my druid there, then she's probably going to die as well. So I think the, the correct play here is just to leave it um, and then reinforce Melkishar next turn. So then you go to this forest. Can anyone else reach? You can, you, you're the only one, you can just about reach over here where this assassin is. Um, five misses? You've got to be kidding me! All right. Um, these bloody assassins. This. What can you do? And now it might be that right now I more I need you more to to support than I do to go and investigate that mine, especially since your mate is, is quite a way behind. Yeah, all right, so I'm going to bring you up, uh, and you can provide backup if things are getting ropey. Back here, um, I need to claim the two villages that are already occupied by the green player, and then... Oh, I missed click. Okay, undo that. Alright, green doesn't have any villages over here anymore. That at least is worth something. <coughs> Gallus is just um, not going to end up on a ton of health out of this. Although it's the daytime, I think, unfortunately, my best move at this stage is actually to pull back, because there are a lot of orcs coming. First of all... I do enjoy these uh, these orcish warriors getting taken cut down to size like that. Um, how many crossbowmen are up here, and how easily can they reach my? That's a normal archer, and these ones can't reach. So I'm going to send you in. Hope you don't die to all of these units if I put you here, because right now you won't die, but um, you'll be a level 3 unit after this, and then you might die, because they will target you, and they'll target you with fire damage. At least it's during the day, so you should take less. Nice, nice damage, and now you've got 33 health, which I just, I'm just praying that will be enough. Um... Okay, everyone run. Um, run to where is the question? Run down here. I want to have a unified front. Um, so, if you can go there. You're not fast enough. So maybe you should go back to the other side of the, the other side of the map. Just for now. Yeah, okay, you do that. You run up here. Oh, 
over here. Now you two can finish off your mission. Don't know why I'm using a level three unit over here to, to hoover up villages, um, especially now that you'll be useless for the rest of the match, but uh, there we go. Now I have to not forget you. And in fact, I'm just gonna set you to move to the bridge. You as well, please move to the bridge. Right, a few units left. I think my retreat plan was not not the smartest. Now where I want you is is over here. Um, I'm gonna hope. quite nice because you can't be attacked but on the other hand this skeleton will die and I actually don't want that skeleton to die like I say this one I want it to be a new death knight so what happens if I do this okay now it's still the case that the Yorkish crossbow can't reach me but now the assassin can and that means that my shide is going to get poisoned um, inevitably unless the assassin well no inevitably You could just run interference, you could you could run out here and get yourself killed. Um, not sure it's the smartest move, but it might help me to just gather my forces enough. I think actually that would be useful. So you come out here and slow this warrior. And now everyone is going to try and kill you next turn. So you run away, run down here. Actually, hmm. Can you reach... You, no, you can't reach Gallus. Uh, neither can you. That's all for the good. So yeah, you just you just run down here. Still want to still wanna discover what's in that mine, people. Still want to discover what's in that mine. I'm going to have to do the big push without my spectre. But it's okay, because green player doesn't actually have any... Uh, any villagers left, so I just need to make sure I gradually kill these units in the next 19 turns. Seems pretty impossible, 60% chance to hit. Slow everyone. Slow every single person. Rip. But totally worth it. No, no fire damage on the on the spectre. to keep going. Um, I'm kind of hoping that everyone else... Uh, I need to clean up these people down here. Um, you can just about get in enough to do some damage to this wolf rider. And now it's the daytime, I'm just going to go straight out, all out damage. Damage is the play. Um, you run up here. Um, maybe you want to do, be the first one to do the, to do the attacking. Maybe then you can get the kill. I'm hoping so. Um, sadly, that does mean then that these marksmen are going to come down, and this skeleton is probably going to be toast. But... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's also a possibility. Galas! Alright, you use your bow. What was that? Oh dear, that was abysmal. Okay, now actually we're in a bit of trouble down here because there's a lot of powerful enemies. I think what I really need you to do is to, well, ideally not die, 
and to take that out. Okay, yeah, the luck is really not on my side, and somehow uh, Malkashar can't get there either. And the reason Malkashar can't get there is because I failed to take out that unit. Um, but never fear, because the druid is here. So, okay. You come here and take out this loyal slayer. Uh, even Malkashar can't do the necessary damage. Um, Alright, this is looking really bad now. Um, I'm going to lose probably, yeah, um, it looks very likely that I'm going to lose my at least one of my level 2 units here, um, which is not what I wanted to happen at all. Um, I shouldn't have moved down the over there, that was a, that was a real error. Um, you though, you can now come down here and try and just, I think just doing damage is the key thing. I, I could kill you if I hit you with all three of those attacks, but it's not likely. So rather just damage. And just one damage. Um, now no one can get to the druid, so that's something. Um, the, ba the, the spectre, I, want, I keep wanting to call them bane blades, I don't know why I want to call them that. Um, probably your best chance of surviving, and the best chance of all of these people is if you can kill this archer and get some health back in the process. Three out of four hits. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Just about. Alright, and you're on 29 health. And no crossbowman can reach you yet. Alright, you move up towards the mountain. You two have moved. Up here, there's nothing else to be done. And turn. Big fire I'm not loving this situation, not not loving this one bit. Um, this skeleton can't even get a level. Um, I think my best bet for survival here is probably to try and orchestrate this skeleton getting, getting the kill here, which is extremely unlikely. But it could happen. So you go there and just do, do as much damage as you can. <laughs> Good. Now you do two hits, but not three. And then you hit with your first attack and don't get hit in return. Yes! That was what I was after. Um, now, what's the best bet here? Um, that was what I was going to do. You were going to be my next, um, my new best friend. Unfortunately there are so many crossbows around here that I think you're just going to die instantly um, to crossbow fire um, because they do love to shoot undead units but maybe they'll go for the archer first. We can dream. We can hope. So Thinia, you're on warrior Down here um seems like I've almost cleared this up, but I, I know from experience that you've never almost cleaned up attacks from from Orcish Assassins. They are just too annoying for that. So, you... Come on, yes! Alright, you've been poisoned, but you are okay for now. And I'll need you to do this one. Never underestimate how handy it is to have Melkashar around. 
Um, now the trouble with the rest of this fight is that taking it is going to be tricky without exposing myself to more crossbow fire. Um, and in particular, over here, this this shide is in, is on a house, and it's not the best place for, for shides to be. Um, even if I put the druid here, well, and one thing that's easy to forget about elvish outriders is that they get minus twenty percent against pierce, um, so they'll take a lot of damage. Now, what you're probably going to do is go and get that house if you don't do something even more annoying, isn't it? Tut, tut. Um, okay, well, I do need to kill this one at least. But I guess I don't need you to be the one to do it. So you just run away. And you come around here. Okay, now I think... Oh no, two crossbows can reach Volorand. Um, and it's and it's the evening. Yeah, that was just a, a complete idiotic move on my part. I've got no idea what came over me there. Um, and there's not much I can do to remedy it. Nothing at all, really, other than send Gallus out to get killed. So I guess I'm just going to have to take the loss of a loyal level 3 unit. just need to hope that they can find someone else that they would actually prefer to attack, but that's such a tempting target for them. I know how the AI works. Um, it's not going to end well. Alright, what does this sign here say? Nothing. All quiet so far. Do I have any more units I can move? No, I don't. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, it's the beginning of the end. Now from here I can definitely win the scenario, but... Loss is pretty heavy, has to be said. Yeah, I just, you know, this is where, this is why I don't play hard difficulty, right? Because if I did, you know, it's it's the sort of case where a powerful, where my opponents, you know, um, I'm losing level three units. Basically, the, the bottom line is you just shouldn't be losing level three units at this level, um, at this level of play. Um, it just shouldn't happen. Full stop. Ever. And I let it happen. And all I can say about that is I'm a moron. So I need, 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 need to wipe up everything down here. Well, that's a good start. Um, can you go to the house and finish that one off? How fast are you? How fast are you? Well, you'll get killed. I'll ensure that that happens. You can level if you get a kill, so you do that. Fantastic. We've got a bone shooter over here. You go and take out this crossbowman. This is crossbowman and undead again, not what you want. Um, Gallas, you deal with this one. Good, good. You come and deal with this assassin. Alright, next priority is to get this guy out of the way. All 
right, not too bad. Now, you really just need to leg it, I think, for now. I'm going to just put you one away. Um, and I'm going to let Anlinde... Okay. Now, I don't think you can quite kill my Death Baron, even if you hit with both attacks now. And you can't get into range of Malkashar, and in any case, he has now got so much experience that it doesn't matter. So what I want you to do is to go down and heal. And I want you, you can't reach a healer. Um, but you can just go there. And then you can't be reached, and you're invisible. Okay, um, this is looking not terrible now. I the loss of two powerful level three units is still gnawing at me, but um, we can come back. We can come back from this. Now, yeah, I said even if the worst happens, he won't die. The worst did happen, of course, because it's worth enough. And now the Lich has made it all the way to the bridge and can actually participate in the final assault. I didn't think, I thought they'd be too slow. Alright, so what's going to happen down here? I'm quite curious about this now. Nothing yet. Alright. Galas once again showing why he is the leader of the Forest Elves. Good thing someone around here is competent. I find that hurtful. Another after maximum level advancement for Marcus Shah. It gets harder and harder to get those, unfortunately. Okay, Sorceress, move up. Um, and everyone else, get into a position where you can grab some health, because all you need to do now is advance on this, on this end boss. You can just go. Is there anyone else here in the background? No, there is not. Okay. We got the ranger is also at the bridge. Okay, we can reach we can reach the mine. Let's do it. Nothing happens. Interesting. Okay, well <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that's a bit of an anticlimax. Um, what happens if I move on to this mountain? Also nothing. Okay, maybe this is something that only foot units trigger. Hmm, or maybe there's some other important consideration that... I don't know. I, I think I must have missed something in this scenario then. Or else it's something that's, um, that's not relevant to me. Right, Malka Shah, as ever, you can take the lead, um, and everyone else, you can go into that forest behind him because you don't need to worry about being instantly killed by the Sovereign, and that means that you can stand behind her because he can't reach you then, and everyone else, just go.
Oh yeah, go and attack, go and attack Alice if you want. That would be fun. That would be a good laugh. Okay, um, and it looks like it is almost all over now. You grab that house. You head back. And everyone else move in. Okay, so Malkashar not performing brilliantly there. Can then Linda do any better? Not to get the kill. So who can get the kill? I think actually this would be nice. Um, and the only the only people who are in, in with a chance of it are Velia the Ranger, Rathea the Druid, and Sathinia the Shide, and also, of course, Galas himself. And I think probably the, the right answer is for the Druid to get it, because then they can get another Shide. I hope. My gods, are a bunch of incompetent, idiotic fools! Ah! Oh. 25 pieces of gold. Okay, it ain't a fortune, but it will help me. I'm finished on turn 24 of 37. Our job here is finished. To the caves. Alright, we've got a cave scenario ahead of us again. Um, always got to love them with your elvish troops. Um, but on the plus side, I don't now need to worry about keeping my elvish rider alive in the cave because he's not alive anyway. Um, rip and uh, badly, badly played on my part. Um, so yeah, a couple of level three losses there. Obviously, that's really not ideal by any standards. Um, if we now look at the statistics, um, you can see my losses, quite a lot of them. Death Knight, that hurt. Um, but I do have another one who's at least on the way up there. And um, this Outrider, Bolrand, who was loyal, that was the real, I mean, that was just, yeah, inexcusable towards the end of the game to throw a unit away like that. Um, still, let's hope I learn from my mistakes. I've got several other units who are well leveled up, including a nice new level three Spectre. And um, so I hope you will join me again for the next scenario, Scenario 7. Bye for now.